Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the new KKW. Oh! <laughs> it's about the new KKW Beauty collection that is launching on Friday. I am so excited about this video because I'm going to be showing you guys swatches as well as a mini tutorial on this eyeshadow look and you will also see some beautiful lip swatches as well. So she is going to be launching the new Ultra Beam highlighters and lip glosses and they are freaking bomb. So if you want to see how to get this look right here as well as a full look at the new collection, go ahead and keep watching. Okay you guys, I am so excited to show you guys the Ultra Beam highlighters and the glosses. Oh, pick them all up with one hand, Ma. They are absolutely beautiful and I wouldn't expect anything less from Kim because I feel like this whole collection with the glosses and the highlighters totally is her. I love the contour collection that she has done, but I feel like the gloss and the shimmers, they just totally remind me of all her makeup looks that she's done over the years. There will be lots of swatches as well as I'm going to be using the highlighters on my eyelids, on my cheekbones, on my whole body because I want to be super, super glowy. Let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial slash swatch review video. So let's start off with the Ultra Beam highlighters. I am very excited about these because I am a highlighter lover and I'm sure that if you watch my videos, you love highlighter as well. So we have five different shades in the highlighters as well as the glosses and the glosses to the highlighters match. So there's the same exact type of color with the gloss and the highlight, which I think is really nice because you can mix and match between the two or you can even put some of the highlighter mixed in with the gloss if you want a lot more of a pigmented lip. But I'm gonna show you full swatches of all the lips right now. So I want to apply a beautiful shade to my eyes right now and I'm going to use the yellow gold because like I said, I'm pretty sure that is what she used in her campaign photo because the gold was just popping and just beaming out of her eye. So let's go ahead and use yellow gold on the eyelid. I'm just using a flat brush and some spray. This is the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. You can use any spray you want or you could just dip it in water. Okay, so I'm going to dip right in the yellow gold and apply straight to the eyelid. Oh, holy shite. This looks amazing. Wow. Okay, so let's pack it on because this is gorgeous. Holy amazing. So that gold is definitely pop in. Let's go ahead and put it on the other eye. Oh. Oh. Wow. I think she definitely killed it with these pigments because they are so pigmented 
but they also have little specks of glitter in them, but it's not chunky. It's a very smooth highlight, so it's wearable on the eyes. I feel like it would be perfect on the body and obviously on the cheekbones, so I'm very excited to try this on my cheeks. Definitely get some fallout with it because it is such a heavy pigmented highlighter, so if you want to do your face before, you can, but you can just dust it away. As for the inner corners of the eyes, I wanted to use this color. This is iridescent. It's that really pretty white shade. So I'm just picking up a very tiny lip brush to apply this to the inner corner. So pretty! And it does have specks of iridescence, so I like that that's its name. It has white, but also little tiny pink and blue sparkles in there. So I feel like that is so gorgeous and wearable for any skin tone. I definitely feel like these highlighters are perfect for the holiday too because there are so many beautiful gold shades in here, white shades, rose gold shades, perfect for Christmas. Because I definitely feel myself wearing more of those tones when it comes to Christmas time and New Year's. Definitely get these before they're gone and you know they're gonna be gone in like five minutes on Friday. <laughs> Woo, girl, love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my liner on, pop my lashes, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the best part, highlight. Okay guys, so my lashes are on and I did apply some eyeliner on the bottom. I used the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Smog, and I did this to recreate the photo of Kim from her campaign. I'll put a picture of it right here so you guys can see, but she did use a pretty heavy liner and eyeshadow on the bottom, so this is a perfect shade. It's like a bronzy brown just to line the bottom. You can skip that if you want, but I feel like it definitely made the look a lot more glam. So let's move on to highlighting the face as well as the body with these Ultra Beams. For the face, I wanted to try Rose Gold Highlight because I feel like it was so different from any highlight color that I've seen. I wear a lot of like champagne gold or lighter icy white highlights, but this had that really pretty rose gold tint to it. The only thing that I wish is that the cap were a little bit bigger because when it comes to highlight, that is loose like this, I like to pack it into the lid and then take it from the lid and apply it onto the face. Other than that, I feel like the only other thing I do would be to apply it to the back of the hand and then take it from my hand and apply it to my face or you can use a palette, but the packaging is really cute and tiny and I feel like she did this so it's easy on the go, but I definitely just wish the lid was a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna be picking up my favorite brush. This is Morphe M510 brush that is bent, but I still love it. And we're gonna be applying this gorgeous shade. I love that. I definitely feel like this is buildable. It's very glowy still, but it's a really soft glow. I also haven't sprayed my face, so I will show you on the other side, if I spray my face, what the application would be like. But let's go ahead and pack this. Oh. Oh, it doesn't even need like spray because it's just pigmented and beautiful and I do feel like it has little specks of Glitter not to freak you out though. They're very very tiny. So they're not like chunky glitter It's just specks of glow and I love that. I Love the shade It's definitely very different from anything I've seen so if you're looking for a highlighter that is totally different check out rose gold because I Have not seen one like this Okay, so on the other side of the face, I wanted to use, should we use yellow gold? Let's just see what yellow gold looks like on the face. Packing it onto my hand. Okay, wait, gotta get ready for this. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love a yellow highlighter. I definitely feel like this might be a competitor for that Fenty Beauty highlight because it is a gorgeous yellowy gold. So pretty, and you can even see on my hand, it's like so pigmented. I feel like the new trend is to wear two different highlighters. No, no, probably not. Oh my gosh. I'm like, look at me, I'm just doing my whole face. 
oh well, not going anywhere tonight, just staying in with my cats. <laughs> But for real. I feel like if you want to be more comfortable and you don't want people being like, why does she have a yellow beam coming out of her face? Definitely stick with the shades like rose gold or iridescent. But let's glow up our body some more too. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of copper. Maybe not. I'm not tan enough for this shade. I can't put that on my body right now. If I have a tan, I can use this on my body, but I don't have a tan. So let's use iridescent on the bod okay and for this i am gonna spray because i did promise you that i would spray so you guys could see what the payoff would be wow so gorgeous little shooting stars all over the body love it and there's so much like glittery dust that's like going in the air it's so pretty i feel like a little fairy let's apply some rose gold to the shoulders By far, still, favorite shade of the whole collection is rose gold. Oh, okay, Kim. This is bomb. So definitely feel like the Ultra Beam highlights are for sure worth it. Just find your right shade for it. But let's get into the swatches. I'm gonna do full swatches on my arm or my hand and show you guys what they look like up close. Okay guys, so the first shade we got is yellow gold, which is this beautiful punching gold. It has specks of yellow in it, as well as white little sparkles, and I feel like it totally shines on the eyes. Okay, so the next shade we got is iridescent, which is this beautiful pearly shade. It has specks of pink, glitter, purple, blue, and silver. So the next shade we got is rose gold, and I will have to say this is my favorite shade out of the whole collection, like I said. I love it on the cheeks, on the body, on the eyes. It is just that perfect rose goldy shimmer highlight and eyeshadow. And I feel like it's very different from anything I've seen, so definitely one to check out and get before it's gone. The next shade is Copper. I feel like this is a beautiful coppery gold highlight, perfect for darker to medium skin tones, or you can use it on your eyes. And the last shade we have is Bronze, and I feel like this is a total Kim Kardashian shade. I always have known her being super bronzy and super golden, so this would be beautiful on the cheekbones as well as the eyes for a really pretty bronze smoky eye but I think this shade is absolutely gorgeous okay guys to finish off this look I'm going to put one of the lip glosses on my lips I'm gonna be using the yellow gold on top and I am wearing just a nude lip liner underneath because I wanted a little bit of color but I just love how glittery and glossy these are feel like gloss is totally coming back too. I never was a huge fan of liquid lipsticks. I don't usually wear them because my lips are so dry. So I do love a really nice gloss. I wanted to show you guys a whole look at my little outfit as well. This top is from Lola Chutique and it is so cute and I feel like it went perfect with this kind of whole look because it's very Kim Kardashian. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look using the new KKW Beauty collection of the highlighters and lip glosses. These are coming out Friday, December 1st, I think at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So I'll put details down below, but I definitely would suggest for you guys to keep an eye out for them and put it in your car already so you can get it because these are going to be gone really quick and I definitely really really love them so let me know what you guys think about this swatch slash review slash tutorial video i know it was just my eyes and lips but still if you want me to do more videos like this let me know i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye guys Shim, shim, shim. Pinksy. What do you think?
anything about my highlight? <laughs> He's like, F you, mom. So cute. By the way, you guys, follow me on Snapchat if you want to see lots of snaps of me and my kittens and what I like to eat and what I like to do every day and lots of makeup.